I'm just going to share a few uh, words. Don't worry, my taxi is waiting, so I'm not going to spend any more time than necessary. <laughs> okay. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's been an absolute honor to, to, to witness kind of like the buzz, the energy that's been present throughout the day. Um, and I'm not saying this, but this has been one of the one of the best in, one of the best conferences I've attended in a very long time. So it's been really, really good. Thank you very much for sharing that. And I think there's been a lot of provocation. Like people have been sharing and kind of like and getting deep into their construction of reality. I think that was really good. I think one of the things that that I hear uh, was about terminology and definition. Um, and I think uh, Mr. Gomez asked that question earlier. What is it that we're talking about? And I think there's been a very um, kind of like um, a very interesting um, move to kind of define this thing that we're talking about, to capture it, to label it, and to have the defining characteristics. So um, that is maybe something that uh, the conference can go away. Whether you want to have a universal definition, whether you want to have one terminology, uh, that's, very, that's also a very contested space. So, because um, Frank said something very interesting, that we all come to the table with different experiences. Um, so, do we want to just uh, ram something down everybody's throat and say, this is what it's going to be called, and you will call it that? Or do we want to uh, focus on the process? You know, these are some of the things that it does. Um, so, that is something to look at. But also, when I was speaking to Mary, we were saying, if the government, if the policymaker is talking about education for sustainable development, to tap into it, to, to synchronize your thinking in terms of funding and, and possibilities. And, because, you know, when you go and say, we are talking about this, and, and your application or your work doesn't talk about this that we're talking about. So do you need to move towards that? But is the government going to be here for another five years? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, and I'm not giving you any warning. I'm just saying, because the other thing about policy is that you choose something and then and it, it goes away. So are you going to try and drag them towards your end? Are, are they going to come and drag you? Do you need to synchronize with them? I don't know. The other bit is about um, uh, clarifying formal and informal spaces. Um, is, it, is, is it this thing that we do, whatever we call it, uh, is it based on informal approaches and experiential learning? And if it is based on informal approaches, experiential learning, deconstructing people's construction of reality, is that something that happens in the formal space? Or is that something that needs to happen in the non-formal, informal space? Or can the methodology be imported into that other space? You know, that is something that we might think about. And I hear a lot of people, you know, talking about that as well. Uh, and I think the last point I'm going to say is, like, there should be some kind of... Uh, I did a teaching course on uh, PGCHE a long time ago, and the only thing that I remember from the teaching course is the, is the concept of constructive alignment, which is about having the, the objectives, the methodology, and the outcomes of evaluation all aligned so that they speak to each other and they follow each other. The teachers are nodding. That's good. <laughs> but the point um, I'm making is, like, what kind of development education are we creating? And I think we're in a unique space to try and articulate something that is different. So if we articulate this thing, and my earlier point about fixing, uh, putting plasters on broken bones, I, is the strategy, is the approach you're taking effective enough to give you the outcome that you want or not? So I think it's, it's very, very important that as we shape this strategy, as, this, as we shape this way forward, we begin to think about what outcomes we want, what our objectives are, and whether they are constructively aligned. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And, yeah. Um, first of all, to the presenters, I think to Celtic Youth Bray, who uh, really did set the standard, I think, for, uh, for the day, for Minister Sean Sherlock, who had um, driven all the way from Cork, actually, to be with us here, um, this morning and for his words of encouragement and I do think that you should take up that offer in terms of maintaining contact with him. For um, Dr Mamadou Sella who I think has just run to get his taxi to Dr Hilary Tierney who MYCI has a very long and uh, um, productive relationship with um, Dr Tony Gaynor uh, Elaine Nevin from um, UNESCO, Michael Durley 
Frank Gehry and Margaret Ryan. Um, really appreciate people taking the time and also spending um, the entire day with us, which I think, um, given you know, the demands and everyone, that's, that's a big commitment. Um, I want to thank particularly um, our funders, um, without whose support we wouldn't um, be here today. So that's uh, Irish Aid, Trocra, Concern um, and Lurgus. Uh, I want to thank the facilitators, um, many of whom are involved in MYCI's Development Education Advisory Group, um, who worked so hard to make um, this day a success. I might miss some names because we had people who came at the last minute and all that sort of thing, but the list I have is Alan, Dermot, Carl, Tammy, Jean Marie, Anne, Stephen, Letty, Maggie, Fionn, Phelan and Johnny. If I've left anybody out, uh, I, I really um, apologise uh, for that. I also want to thank um, MYCI staff who did pull out all the stops to make this um, day uh, a success, but I think particular thanks um, to Valerie Duffy, who has worked tirelessly, um, not just today, but over many days, um, to bring the event together. So I think she deserves a special... There she is. There she is. Shy and lurking at the back. You just, I think you just about missed your round of applause. Um, Valerie usually tries to do that. And finally, I, I mean, I want to thank you very much for your um, commitment, for your participation, for your engagement for your passion, for your cooperation in terms of um, being here um, uh, on time. And, and I, I think it is a really excellent reflection of the day that so many people have stayed um, to the very end. So the day wouldn't have worked without you. Um, I hope that you felt you had the opportunity um, to have your say. And we um, are committed to gathering all the feedback from um, today. And we will send that back out to people. There will be an evaluation. Um, because uh, MYCI is committed to impact measurement as an organisation. We have a theory of change, set of outcomes, um, and we look to evaluate that on, on an ongoing basis. Um, we need that for ourselves um, to know that what we're doing is right um, or not, uh, um, as, as well as obviously our funders needing, needing to know. We now have a brief commercial break, I understand, um, because people will be aware that One World Week is happening, um, during, it happens during November each year and coincides with Universal Children's Day. Um, and this year it's the anniversary of the adoption of the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. Um, this year marks the 25th um, anniversary. You know that there are a series of events all, all over the country. It uh, would be remiss of us also, I think, not to um, acknowledge that for many children across the world, um, including um, in, in Ireland, um, we fall far short uh, of meeting our um, commitments under the UN Convention of, on the Rights of the Child. But if you are interested in One World Week, and who wouldn't be after today, you need to check out uh, the website www.oneworldweek.ie um, for information on this year's One World Week week. Um, and I certainly would like to encourage um, the panellists and speakers who've been involved with us during the day, if you want to actually come and see some examples of um, you know, development education in action, um, then come to the uh, One World Week central events or take the opportunity to attend some of the events that happen um, during that week. It's November the 15th um, to the um, 23rd. Uh, um, it just remains to me to wish everybody a very safe journey home. The weather forecast isn't great, so please do take care. Uh, and we look forward to working with you on this journey towards the development of a development education strategy for, uh, for the youth sector in Ireland. And thanks very much. Thank